and holy guacamole! It's National Guacamole Day! <laughs> I'm scared to know that Brian's out there. Chef Tracy Altman is here to demonstrate his own special recipe. All right, it's time for your shot of the morning. In case you didn't know, today is National Guacamole Day. And you are looking there at the folks from Holy Guacamole who have an interesting way to travel. That's their trailer. They pulled over that colorful guac truck. They also brought along some wild guacamole dishes. And right now, I'm outside with Chef Tracy Altman, who's traveling around in that lovely vehicle. It's Look at that. Great, it's a great wheel, don't you think? Uh, uh, that, uh, that flatbed is carrying around that big trailer. And your message to the people who don't know enough about guacamole is? It's good for you, and it tastes good. And it is essentially guacamole and? Spices. That's it. Right. Well, it's avocado and spices. That's all guacamole is. All right. First, I'd like to do a quick look at the weather. Steve is out today. So let's look at the weather that matters most to you out there and, of course, to me. The weather today in Massapequa, 65 a high, 51 a low. So Joey Buttafuoco, Stephen Baldwin, and Jerry Seinfeld, please be aware that's what's happening in this nation. Now, back to Guacamole Day as we know it. First things first. You know what? People love spicy, so why not mix a wasabi, which is a very spicy, with some guacamole? Instead of your ranch dressing boring, try this. Or how about shrimp cocktail? Do you like, um, do you like cocktail sauce? That's a little too personal, but I, I, <laughs> up until now, I would like guac. Uh, uh, you want to try some? Sauce. I will try it. It's really good. That wasabi right. is really spicy, and it gives the shrimp just a kind of another thing to do. Shrimp in the morning. Look out, Kello. Now, the other thing is, how about guaca pops? Kids love popsicles, so take some fruit juice, and we, the TV. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. All this is is fruit juice, a little bit of guacamole, so you're adding flavor and nutrients mm -hmm. and still giving the kids something fun I mean, to eat. Here it is, 95 degrees. You're running around, and a kid <laughs> comes running in. He wants an ice pop. No, it's a guac it's pop. It's a guac pop. And finally? Okay, this is our creme de la creme. Avocados are fruits, and people don't know that. Right. So they're sweet and they're creamy, so why not put them into a guac a banana? Guac a banana. A guac a banana. This is like a kind of a banana cream pie, but wow. we made it. Come on, try it now. Come on. I know you want to. Now, what I would recommend is you do this at home, but don't tell people there's guacamole in it until after you eat it. And the message on this guacamole day is? Eat, try different things. Forget ranch dressing, forget things that are not healthy for you, and put guacamole on it. So well, fresh from Texas, Tracy, you came yes. up here. I love entrepreneurs that are willing to take risks. The company's four years old. Best of luck. Thank you very and much. And as long as you and that personality are involved, I'm very optimistic. <laughs> You're sweet. Happy guacamole day. Uh, same to you. Next year, I'll get you a gift. Okay. Brett, <laughs> take it away. Well, actually, I, we'd like to go back to your weather forecast. Yes. Because uh, I, I wanted to know if you left anything out. Oh, yeah. Here's today's highs. If you want to see the rest of the country, if you're not going to Massapequa, uh, that's what I expect today's highs to look like. Uh, take it down, and that's all. Back to you, Greg. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm so glad that you have more to offer than doing the weather, Brian. Right. Guacamole olives. All right, yeah. one more thing. Current temperatures. Can we see the current temperatures? Right now, let's take a quick look at current temperatures. Okay. Right there. We don't have it. All right, sorry. All right. I'm coming inside. Bye, Tracy. Bring in some guac.